Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sign up for Grasshopper if you're looking for a custom business phone number with a lot of features that are gonna help you to run your business. So what you can do is any one of these packages, you can start a free trial. The nice thing is they do give you all of the features that you're supposed to get with Grasshopper, but they just limit the amount of text minutes and phone numbers and extensions you're gonna get with your seven day trial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a local number and I'm in the 716 area code. That's like Western New York, if you're familiar. And then what you can do is uh, you can do a new batch if you like, but this is just for example purposes. So this one looks good to me. So you're gonna enter your information to register for a free trial. You're gonna put in your uh, personal cell phone number. They're just gonna give you a code that you're gonna have to get to your cell phone that you're gonna put in there, very familiar. And it's that easy. We have a seven day free trial for Grasshopper. So what I'm gonna do next is just show you some of the features and if you're getting set up, what to expect. So the first thing you need to do is decide whether or not you want to see the caller's number, name and number, or if you want to know it's a business call right away. If you're running it off your cell phone, you probably want to know that it's a business call right away just so that you can delineate that from your personal calls. So this section you might want to think about a little bit as you're setting it up. I mean, you can always go back and change things, but what you really want to think about is like, what does your phone tree look like? Like who's going to be actually engaging with this? How many salespeople do you have? How many extensions do you need? If you're a typical business, uh, perhaps you just need, you know, a couple of extensions because you want like current customers and new customers to go to a different department because one's going to be customer service and one's going to be sales. Uh, if that were the case, you'd be adding employees and extensions. If you're a one person shop and you just want to know like what that person's calling about, that might be good because then you can have extensions only. And then if you only need employees only, uh, if you remember when you're looking up at the plans here, uh, the uh, partner in small business includes three phone numbers and five numbers. Uh, so you can go that route. And then the other thing to think about is if it's just you and one other person, you can still go this route with the $26 a month and then add an additional phone number for $10 a month, which will keep you underneath this partner pricing if that's something that interests you. So what I'm gonna do in my situation is just add extensions only. So again, pretty simple, but what you're doing here is just pretty much building out your phone tree. So let's stick with an example of me being a one-man shop, but I want to kind of split my calls from customer service to sales just so I can kind of get in the right mindset of who is calling and then also give this kind of look of a more professional company. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add extension one and then I'm going to add extension two and then I'm gonna record your greetings. So you can go with the system default, but in my situation, I wanna record a custom greeting here. And it's nice that they give you these examples because if you're like me, it takes you like 30 tries to record this. So what I'm gonna do is tap record right now. Hello, thank you for calling Movie Phone. If you are a new customer, press one. If you are a previous customer looking for customer support, press two. Hopefully you, uh, you know that reference. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do. So I'm going to click save here and then I'm going to go to setup summary. So now when somebody calls this particular number, um, I will see that number. So I will know that they are calling there. The caller will hear your automatic greeting. So I can play this. Hello, thank you for calling movie phone. If you are a new customer, press one. Okay, so this is where it can start to get a little more complicated if you have uh, different employees, but it's really not. It's going to just take you a few minutes to set this up. But basically, you know, if somebody were to press zero, they would get right through to me. And then uh, if no one answers, they would get the system default that would sound like this. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message and your call will be returned as soon as possible. Okay, and then if they were to press one because they were sales, uh, if no one answers, you can have the system default still. Thank you for calling. All right, uh, but again, like if you have multiple employees, this is where you'd be able to choose uh, which employee from which department would be answering for these different extensions. So very simple to set up, very easy. And what I'm gonna do in the next part of the video is actually show you this in action. So depending on your situation, you may wanna get the desktop app. Uh, I would also highly recommend getting the uh, phone app. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, uh, when you go to the App Store, they almost have a perfect rating, which is really important. A lot of times you can tell how well a company maintains their systems based on their app rating. Uh, so I'm gonna download the Grasshopper app. Uh, like I said, almost a perfect five-star rating with, with 25,000 reviews, which is really great to see. So I'm gonna open this, put in my username and password, and then I'm gonna put in my own phone number. It's in the top right hand corner, by the way, is the uh, next button. Uh, as far as the design, uh, I think that they could have done a nicer job on that. I'm going to skip my business contacts. 
and then choose an extension for outbound calls. This will only show in the call log. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that extension zero. So this is really cool. A lot of times if you're a smaller business, uh, you know, you might be on the phone with somebody already or you're in the middle of like a sales meeting with somebody and you don't have time to answer your phone all the time. Uh, but this is uh, instant response. So you, if you activate that, what happens is if somebody calls you and you can't answer, they get an immediate text message just to say, you know, that I'll be with you in a few minutes, but you're continuing the conversation. You wanna make sure that you have that communication and you have that ability to easily get back into a phone call and a communication with that person. Because sometimes people are calling five different providers and they're just gonna go with the first one that gets back to them. So this gives you kind of like a foot in the door. So I'm gonna click start using instant response and then I'm gonna activate it. Sorry, I missed your call. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Is there anything I should know in the meantime? Thank you. I'm just gonna go with that. That sounds good. So we're gonna click back and then we're good there. Again, guys, in the description below, I have a link for your free trial. If you'd like to use my link, I really appreciate it because it helps support my channel and what I'm trying to do here on YouTube. And also what I wanted to talk about is ways that you might be able to save money. Um, I, I don't know how their voice actors are with Voice Studio, but it's $75 per order. Uh, I have found a, a service like Fiverr.com to be pretty helpful for this. I've actually used it before for phone trees. Um, you could probably get your voicemail done uh, within 100 words and it would be $35 through this particular person. But there's lots of different people to choose from with really good ratings that you can take a look at. So I'll have a link for that in the description below as well. Uh, and then extra numbers I mentioned earlier, I believe it's $10 a month if you did want an extra number. And it's interesting because they're saying if you do want extra extensions, you can deploy as many departments or uh, employee extensions as you like, it's on us. So that's kind of interesting. So you may want to take a look at that. Um, you might be able to do it on the solo plan. I know it says three extensions, six extensions. So once you get in, you might be able to ask them if you need more extensions. So uh, it is a little bit customizable. And then the last thing is just know that when you're setting this up, pretty much everything can be uh, changed within the app. Uh, if you go to settings, you'll be able to uh, do your call forwarding, sync contacts, sync notification settings, instant response, which is that text message, uh, Wi-Fi calling, uh, anything that you need to do, you can quickly do through the app. And I've actually found their customer support pretty helpful. I have called the 1-800 number with questions. Um, so if you ever need to call them with any questions once you're getting set up, that is always available to you as well. All right, guys, in the next video, what I have, if you haven't watched it already, is a comparison of Grasshopper versus Google Voice, RingCentral, and Phone.com, and which service is a right fit for your needs. All right, guys, I'm going to catch you in that next video.